Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about action cameras. All right guys, first off, let's go over what I've got here. This here is my very first action camera. This is an Ion Air Pro. I paid, I believe, $179 for this. It shoots 720p, I believe, at 30 frames per second only. I no longer use that. The next action camera that I bought was this one here. This one here is made by Cobra. It does shoot 1080 at 30 frames per second. So the problem with this one here is I was using DaVinci Resolve for editing software. This shoots in an AVI format. DaVinci Resolve does not recognize this. Um, I believe I paid $59 for this camera probably about three or four years ago. I do have some footage of this which you're going to see and it's actually not too bad. My old go-to. You guys have all seen this one here before. This is pretty much a fixture of where it sits. This is a uh, no-name brand action camera. shoots 1080p at 30 frames per second. It always sits on this egg timer because this is what I get my motion time lapse with. It also has a mic input. So I can attach a lapel mic and get a little better audio. But what the review is on today? Dragon Touch. This is a 4K camera. Also 1080p 60 frames per second which is what it is set on right now. I do have some 4K footage from this camera but I found it a little choppy. And that's not the fault of the camera. I can almost guarantee it's not the fault of the camera. My laptop is old, so it's probably not able to handle the footage. Let's have a look on Amazon. As you can see here on Amazon.ca, I paid $79 for this Dragon Action camera. Now the 4K Ultra HD is on sale for $49. I also mentioned in a past video that I was going to do a review on this Dragon Touch camera. I'd rather not do it sitting behind the bar. Let's go to the beach. Well, today we decided to come to Mitchell's Bay. Nice little beach here. Uh, but the main reason for coming here is to kind of cool off. It's been awfully hot. So right now, I'm getting a little 4K time lapse of this storm that's coming in behind us here. And uh, let's see how it turns out. We are back from the beach the weather started coming in which actually wasn't too bad because I was able to do some time lapses with the M3 also with the Dragon Touch I think the footage turned out pretty good you be the judge of that the only difference between the version 3 and this one that I have is it says 4k on it uh, maybe cover a couple other small features inside but I paid $79 as you saw on Amazon it's now on sale the 4k HD version is on sale for $49 and those are Canadian prices. I think I just gave away 30 bucks. Anyway, I do like about this and I mentioned it in a past video is the remote. Uh, I'm able to start and stop the video or take a picture with that remote and it came with it along with a lapel mic because with two batteries. I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, not all of us have five, six, seven hundred dollars to spend on a GoPro, you're getting some awesome footage out of one of these. And I hope you enjoyed this little review. I've made mention in past videos that I was going to talk about the action cameras. I do get a few questions now and then about it. 
So that's what I use. I'll let you make your own decision as to what you want to use for an action camera, but I see no need in spending hundreds of dollars on one. Hope you all enjoyed that video. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.